Hey guys, welcome back again to another exciting episode of Designing with Hope on Design. Now, as designers, we relish the opportunity to be able to finish up some design or decorating projects we may have ongoing in our home. So for 2016, one of my New Year resolutions, and that was to finish up a couple of decorating projects that I have ongoing, as well as begin my new design project that I have scheduled for my home. So in this episode today, I'm going to share with you some of my new decorative activities and pieces that I've purchased as well as show you the new design project that I'm getting ready to start in my home. So let's go ahead and get started. Now my first decorative accessories I want to share with you guys and these are these metal silver lanterns that I picked up from um, Home Goods, and I got them on sale because they're missing the glass. I went ahead and I purchased them because I knew I had a plan for them. So what I did, I went to Hobby Lobby and I picked up two of these glass jars in uh, different heights so that they will fit inside of the lanterns. And then I also picked up a battery operated candle. And so now I just simply insert these inside of these lanterns. And then I have created an entire new look. So now lighting is a very key essential when it comes to decorating a space. And so I wanted to input some task lighting in my library. So I purchased a set of these pharmacist floor lamps to place in my library behind the two leather chairs. So this is going to give the task lighting needed when we're in there reading a book. Okay, so now also speaking of things that I purchased for my library, I purchased these horned candle holders from Home Goods, and I'm actually going to use them as bookends and place them inside of my bookcase that's inside of my library. Okay guys, now I want to share with you my blue and white collection and blue and white decorative accessories are still trending in 2016, so I wanted to go ahead and start my collection. Now if you follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen the picture that I posted of some of my blue and white collection, so I expanded my collection by adding in this blue and white planner set. It comes in large, medium, and small, and I'm going to place this planner set outside on my deck and fill it with beautiful flowers and herbs and the rest of my blue and white collection I'm going to showcase as a collection in my home. So now in 2016 I decided to start collecting sculptural art and so I fell in love with this piece of art that I found and I actually purchased two of them and what I did I combined them together to make one large piece of art. Now another thing that I did too when I was down with a client down at the Dallas World Trade Center, I purchased this sculpture from one of the Dallas showrooms, and it's a man um, pulling a rope, pulling up another man. So now I want you guys to take a look at the picture to see how I incorporated these art sculptures into my home. Now this is my design project, well one of my design projects, and that is to retile my fireplace. This fireplace was retiled about three years ago, and it was a nice um, complement to the wood color in my family room. So now that I have transitioned to more of a modern transitional design style in my home, this brown fireplace just sticks out like a sore thumb. So these are my options I want you guys to help me to choose. To my left, is a porcelain tile and it has the light beige and creams and ivories and to my right is a natural stone marble that has more white with gray variations and some light tannish variations. So I would like for you guys to comment which tile you think I should retile my fireplace with, either with the tile on the left, which is the porcelain tile, or the tile on the right, which is a natural stone, a marble. So I would love for you guys to help me solve my decorating dilemma. Now hopefully you guys were excited about some of the decorative accessories that I purchased so that way I can finish off some of my decorating projects in my home. And also comment below which one you like the most. Now, now for my design project, I want you to comment which one you think I should use, the marble or the porcelain tile. So now, once again, thanks for watching Designing with Hope on Design, designing for the home, body, and soul. Bye for now.